Hey you guys, it's Jag from Waifu Watch and today I will be entering the Black Butler British Curry Competition. <laughs> I will be entering, as you can see, with my own special ingredients. Let me see. If I was a butler, how would I how would I welcome home someone? Let's see. <clears throat> it's like, hello master. Today I I'm not gonna say master. Good <laughs> like, how would it be? How would it be? I'd be the butler. Good morning, Zaddy. <laughs> Zaddy. Today we'll be having Japanese curry with a side of jasmine rice stewed to perfection with a sweet smell aroma of dark chocolatey nuttiness vegetable stock. Extra on the nutty. Get it? <laughs> I, I thought it would be cool to go ahead and try out and make the, you know, my type of Japanese curry. So let's get started. So, for my Japanese curry, I will be going ahead and using onions, turnips, garlic, shallots, the good stuff. Okay, if your butter ain't glistening in gold, let's, wait, let me think. Anyway, pure Irish butter, high fat content. I know I sound bougie, please don't use margarine. Okay, that's not butter. We have a beautiful roast here, which I'm gonna carve out because we're gonna use that fat for our broth. Okay, we're fat. <laughs> of course, our seasoning, salt, pepper, a little bit of red wine. We have some bay leaves, oxtail, beef bones. I'm country, okay. Potatoes, celery, parsley. We have some parsnips right here, some carrots, and some jasmine rice, and I'm gonna cheat. You know why? Because this is a curry competition, and sometimes people who cheat win. My envisioning of this to win this competition <laughs> is to combine like my mother's roast, kind of make that into a stew, then go ahead and add our block of golden curry. So let's get it to it. Ho. They don't want me to stab, but I'm going to because it is my God-given will and duty. Eh. I don't know how to do this. What the fuck do I do with this? How do I do, what is this? What is this? What is this? Is this, all this will be the nipple. <laughs> okay, okay, I'ma shave the nipple. Now we're going to slice and dice our vegetables to get them ready for the broth. And my best efforts to be a bad bitch, I got my nails done, so don't judge my cutting skills. I know how to cut, y'all. I got nails on. I don't know how to cut a fucking turnip. But the great thing about creating a stock is that your vegetables don't have to be cut perfectly, obviously. They just have to fit in the pot. So, I have everything almost chopped up here, but you know, what would a waifu watch cont curry contest be without another waifu here to join me? So I bring it out, Mana! <laughs> I wanna say like numero uno. Hello, no. <laughs> <clears throat> so Mana was talking shit about how if you, okay, well she was, was trying to you. inform me that if you wet a paper towel while cutting an onion, it will not make you cry. There's a chemical in the onion that looks for a water source so it goes to your eyes. But if you wet the paper towel and put it next to the onion, you shouldn't cry. So here's your little bit of water. Okay, here's your paper towels. A heavy part of me wants to put it like right by my fucking eye. Just so You're just trying to prove me wrong. It's actually working. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of working. For now! When preparing your potatoes, carrots, and turnips, try and keep in mind the bigger the chunks, the longer they'll take to cook. Cut them too small and they'll break down and they won't hold their texture. So try and cut them into bite-sized chunks. Yeah. Cleanliness is next to godliness, which is next to the conspiracy theories. Trim the fat off your rose and set that aside for the broth later. Fat is flavor, damn it. Cube the meat to your likeness. I'm trying to get as much of the curry aesthetic as possible here, so it's either go big or go home but not too big because we want our meat to still be nice and tender. Big meat ain't always good for you. 
So now that we have our meat cubed up, we're gonna go ahead and pan fry this for a little bit. And this is gonna be the main component of our Japanese curry. And the rest of the trimmings will be used for the stock. Let's go ahead and put everything in the pot. I am the only, I'm not the only participant. Sebastian technically already won, so there's really not shit for me to. Our commenters can judge. Exactly, judge against, who are they judging me against? See this, we're back to square From one. Black Butler. There we go. That yeah. also means I get to win first place too. Like, regardless, I win. <laughs> who wouldn't want to compete like that? I was gonna say something, but I can't. I was about to say, oh, I can win without competing. <laughs> and I was gonna be like, oh, this is what, it rhymes with right <laughs> leverage must feel like. Okay, what's going to happen is, I think I'm actually going to flour this meat, flour that meat, pan fry that, take that back out, because it's not gonna be cooked all the way anyway. And then I'm gonna add my vegetables. Time to season our food and make my ancestors proud. We've combined some garlic powder, accent, seasoned salt, regular salt, pepper, and for the exact measurements, don't forget to check out the descriptions below. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our broth started. First, we're gonna go ahead and brown the oxtails and our stewed meat so we don't have to do it later. It didn't sizzle. I thought I was waiting for that. I put on mine's apron. Back to this. I'll go in. Oh, ain't that it's the power of the apron. I could not open this. We're gonna add our olive oil. Come on. Arise. Kratos. Anyway, old school. Ooh, this smells delicious. Oh my God, that pepper is really sticking, ain't it? All right, our meat is brown and now we're going to switch it out. Add some more butter. I like my vegetables at the bottom so they can get that nice and roasted flavor. It helps to deepen the flavor of the broth. Next layer is the fat trimmings from before, then add in our oxtails and our beef bones and let them stew. Ha! While our broth is bubbling, toiling, and troubling, I decided to make a delicious cheese plate for my wife and wives because I am a house witch and this is what we do. And so I decided to bring on my next special guest, Shelby. Hi. Mm, so, Shelby, while we're waiting for the broth to cook, what was your favorite episode of JoJo? Anything to do with Lisa Lisa? Right. I love Lisa. Oh, the prosciutto fell on the fruit. I'm sorry. Yeah, Lisa Lisa was just a badass bitch. Mm-hmm. And we love that representation. We do, we, we do. I sorry. did kind of hate how she went out though, didn't she die? And she lost, I hate that she lost, I get that, but. We were getting like some good scarf action from mm -hmm. her. Yeah. And then they just totally, you are now my prisoner victim woman. Yeah. Exactly. It started out well, we gotta be the victims from always. the top to the bottom, but it's just like I felt like she could go out in a better way than she did. Exactly. And I feel like like that about a lot of deaths and a bunch of different TV shows. But yeah, I she anything to do with her was my favorite. That smells so fucking good. Ready? Ooh, look at them. Blood. I cut butter so difficultly. Is that a word, difficultly? Difficult? Am I saying it right? It just tastes like fat. 
I'm always adding seasoning. They'll be like, how much seasoning? I'll be like, I don't know, I just add. And the red rind. Okay, I'm gonna add my bay leaves. Make a wish for all my house witches out there. We all know that they, I, why the fuck do they do this? Who the fuck decides to put the little four ring, this is the extra shit. <laughs> Look what I have to do. How was this gonna, how was this gonna work? No one knows. Sexy. Right. <laughs> Do y'all not see this broth, damn it? And it's all gonna thicken up once that um curry gets in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our garden cutter. You can get this at any Walmart. It's not, it's, it's not all that, okay? This brick is very chocolatey, it's very condensed, so you don't really need a lot of it. It's what's gonna give our curry that nice brown color, as you can see. But it's very thick, you do not need a lot of this. Please do not use a lot. And then you wanna blame me? Jack, I watched your cooking video when you made curry. I added all this shit in there, and then you wanna complain to me. Eh. <laughs> Don't ask me, I don't know why that plot just excited me. And now that would honestly, after everything stews together, we will be done. See in about 15 minutes. You look beautiful, baby. Anybody ever tell you that? It's curry, not Japanese. Scary. <laughs> I'm not, you just like the entire thing and then you... I know, I'm such a hypocrite. I end up using it. Okay, go ahead and use the entire thing. It's still gonna get thicker and I think I'm gonna add some more bro. But that's good. It's hot, Joe. Let's blow on it. Oh, and it burns. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Very good. Oh my God. All right, I'm definitely about to go put this on the real stove. Mana, yeah. can you, I'm sorry, am I disturbing you? Oh, no, I can't lick the thing. Then get that spoon. Then get that spoon. Right. Okay. No, not that spoon, that's okay. my presentation spoon. Right. That spoon. Are you gonna put it back in the pot? No, I'm done with it. Oh. <laughs> it's hot, <laughs> why did I do that? But it's good. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of spice. I handle contrary to popular belief. That is fucking good though. A little salty. A little. Okay, what do you have to say for yourself? It works, damn it. Rice in the oven works for all my people who do not know how to cook minute rice. Okay, don't feel bad. I found the way. Just put it in the oven, put some water on it, some aluminum foil. Who's gonna know? This is a public service announcement from your fellow waifus. Disclaimer, all cutlery was washed and sanitized before and after being used. Thank you. Stay safe during COVID now. And there you have it, Jack's Japanese curry. I hope that I win first place. Let's see. Let's see what the announcer says. And the winner of the Black Butler <laughs> Challenge is Jack! Oh my god, thank you. To thank my mom for like giving me a dope ass roast recipe. I would like to thank Black Butler for being my inspiration for all of this. I really would like thank you. 
thank you but all seriousness if you would like to try this recipe don't forget to look at the description below don't forget to like share and add us on your favorite youtube watch list and don't forget to check out our patreon to see more dope content like this and exclusive sneak peeks until next time bye